All right, so we've jumped over to uh, the quiz microservice, and uh, we did that because the controllers folder has uh, uh, less less complexity. All the essential things are are there, yeah. but there there isn't mm -hmm. like in uh, yeah. It still has a yeah. main.go. It still has a swagger.go. It yeah. still has the generates, but there's uh, course microservice is rather large because there's a lot of stuff to yeah. keep track of. So quiz quiz is comparatively simpler. Um, so yeah, for for uh, any Go program. The first place to start is all is it, when you're exploring is usually just the main function, um, so in a, in a main.go. So every controller has a main.go, uh, which has a main function, uh, which actually Entry turns point the service the program, on. Yeah, yeah it's, this is what Entering turns everything on. Exit point. So, um, so a lot of for some of the microservices, I will have a uh, I will define a custom goa error. That's because Goa does not act, Goa's got uh, error functions for every single HTTP uh, status code except status forbidden. Hmm. Don't know why they decided not to put it for status forbidden, but I, so I you I, added I, one in. I just, I, error not allowed is Goa a new error class permission denied. Cool. HTTP status forbidden. Yeah. So not sure why they didn't have it for that one, but there you go. So most microservices have this. That'd be a good question. Stick stuck in the main function. G yeah, Goa two does uh, doesn't have Goa two does a little things a little bit differently for yeah. errors and such, so it doesn't have this problem. But um, then each one has a func main. Yeah. Um, and most of this code is boilerplate. So you've got Goa dot new microservice name. Yeah. So we just save that as uh, service. Um, Auth package is uh, written is our Greater Commons package in utils, which uh, has all the code necessary for checking a login, making sure you're logged in as someone. Uh, who are you logged in as? So, um, so new JVT security uh, can, is a it's a it's a type that has all, a bunch of methods that relate to that. Sure. Um, so, if you can't set up that, you want to panic. Yeah. If, if you can't determine if someone's logged in or not, yeah, just totally don't, don't, don't turn on. Yeah. Um, right. Fix this first. <laughs> yeah. Um, next up, uh, Go has got a concept of middleware, which is actually very common in uh, a lot of web stuff. Basically, yeah. a, a middleware is um, something that happens before every single endpoint, essentially. Mm. Uh, or or a significant subset of endpoints. Yeah, so middleware could be considered uh, checking if somebody's logged in, right? Yeah. So middleware for something that's behind the login wall is like, you yeah. know, request comes in, are you logged in? Cool, you're logged in. You get to go to this page. You're not logged in? No. So it's yeah. between the request mm -hmm. and the what's wanted is this thing in the is, middle. Is the middleware. middleware. Yeah. So 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 that's the best explanation yeah. I've ever heard. Thank you. Yeah. So so here's so this is uh, again from our auth package. Uh, a, a middleware for checking if you're logged in, and it uses the uh, Goa generated uh, JSON Web Token thing to determine which uh, endpoints need the uh, need the middleware. So, because so, some endpoints have no security on them, yeah. So, uh, like for example, getting the list of courses on our front page. Yeah. So, so this specific so app is one of Goa's generate is Goa's generated codes in the app folder. Um, which is not in the repo because it's generated. Um, and so this just has all, everything required for determining the route, making sure it's actually logged in, et cetera. So you could call a package app even though it's not imported up here? Oh, there it it's is. imported. But it's not the folder's not there because it'll get generated. But yeah. you're still importing it because you know yeah. it's going to be created. Got yeah, when, when you run go generate, it generates. That's got to wreck that havoc is. on your editor. Your editor's <laughs> like, there is no app package. I know it's coming, right? Yeah, does, you, you, does your editor totally tweak out on that? I run go generate before I start editing. Oh, OK. So, okay, so, so it, it, it is, is there, there on my own okay, laptop. Right. It's just not on GitLab. OK. So, so yeah, again, if you're not able to check that, uh, don't continue. Um, next up, I've got a uh, log new logger. Um, I believe that's another custom middleware uh, feature, uh, kind of. So um, Goa is very picky about its logging system. It, it wants yeah. to log every time an endpoint is called, which yeah. is great, but it requires you to implement a very specific and tricky inter inter yeah. uh, interface yeah. to do it. So this utils logs functions got that implemented for app engines log package. Okay. 
So and again, it's a package we wrote. Yeah. Great so comments. so it's it's a wrapper around App Engine's log that makes oh, it cool. so it makes it implement Goa's log uh, requirements. So so create the logger. That sounds like that took a while to get one's head around. It did. It was a pain, uh, especially since App Engine's log requires a context and Goa's log does not. Ha requires yeah. there to be no context yeah. so it was a big headache to get around like that um, but in any case for for everyone else though you could just import log and say new logger and then service and then is services or go a service and say with this logger and uh, so the logger is basically logging an app engine for us if there's an error or yeah if there's you know, an error or yeah. go, go uh, puts a inter inf informational message whenever an endpoint's called Okay. Uh, which which also includes like all the uh, uh, parameters that came in, so okay. that we can use that for debugging purposes cool. later on or anything. That's got to be uh, a big log. Yeah, so App Engine gives like twenty five gigs free, and it expires log after a month, so we haven't ever. Oh yeah. We're we're not even hitting that. That's a lot. Yeah, it's not a problem. Then we mount all the different middlewares we're using, which there's a bunch of them. Um, so first off is uh, service.use off app engine context. So off is our code again. Uh, what this does is Goa has gives context. It gives a context to yeah. every microservice. Yeah. This middleware uh, grabs that context and yeah. makes it an app engine context. Okay. And so we can use just context anywhere you do an app engine call in okay. the actual services. Okay. So no, it, so it's a middleware that doesn't actually block anything. It just makes the context. Sure, better. basically translates Goa context. To, Goa yeah. has context. Yeah. Goa context to it, it, app it, engine. I thought you it, just it, said it, a minute ago. Yeah, Goa it, doesn't. It, have... it, 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 Goa doesn't pass a context to the log okay, for some reason. Okay. Okay. But so so yeah, okay. it's it's more of a merge. It grabs okay. the request and gets the app engine context, and it takes the Goa context, kind of merges them together, so it works for both. Cool. Um. Here's the one that tells Goa how to, uh, to to do to actually do the logging when a request comes in. Okay. Um, no, this is the middleware that we wrote or I wrote to. Uh, this 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 is the one that does the workaround required to make the contextless uh, Goa logger work okay. with the App Engine context required logger. So you need this for logging to work with App Engine's logger. Got it. Um, this one is one that says if you get a 500 error. Don't give the details back to the client. Yeah. Just tell the client we had a problem. Try again yeah. later, and yeah. then it logs to us the details only. Okay. So so if there's some random error that has n that we got no clue, we yeah. don't want to leak. It, it may have security details in it. We don't know. Yeah. So just tell. Nice. The, so this is so if it's an unknown error, internal error, five hundred mm -hmm. HP status five hundred, uh, translate. Give it to it, us. Give it to us and tell the user to try again later. Any other error goes back untranslated, and because we because we presumably wrote those the yeah. error message for those uh, manually. Um, these two are Goa middlewares. This one adds a request ID to all the log statements from this okay. point on. So that's App Engine groups our logs together normally, but if we were using some other logger, uh, having all the logs from that one request have an ID is helpful for determining mm -hmm. which logs come from which request. So not really required for App Engine, since App Engine does that automatically, yeah. but it doesn't hurt to have it in there anyway. Um, this is the one that tells Goa to log each each request as it comes in. Uh, this is the one that tells that uses our uh, JSON Web Token middleware to make, force you to be logged in. Okay. Um, this one. Uh, says if you just return a standard Go error, convert it to a Goa error with, say, with HP status 500. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one that says if you panic inside an endpoint, yeah. convert, uh, recover from it, and return a 500 error instead. Okay. Um, and then this one says uh, if the web browser supports gzipping it to make yeah. it smaller, gzip it. Yeah. Make the request smaller. Yeah. So in each of these middlewares, uh, stacks. So when a request comes in, it calls this, then this, then yeah. this, then this, then this. Yeah. So each one is able to use whatever comes before it. So for example, logging needs the app engine context. Yeah. So the app engine context comes first. Yeah. Um, whereas you want it to, if it's if it's uh, compressing, you want that to kind of be the last kind of layer yeah. in the stack because you don't want it to affect the other log, uh, other middleware. Yeah. So also when like a panic comes back, it comes to here gets converted to a standard error, then it comes back out to here, and it gets converted to a 500 error, 
and then it comes back to uh, here and gets redirected to us instead of back to the user. Cool. Um, so yeah, after all the middleware, which is mostly just a copy paste job between microservices yeah. with that same order, um, comes the bit where you create each controller and mount it. So these new controller things are written in other files in controllers. Um, so there's a quiz.go. Uh, if I go back up to the uh, quiz controllers, there's a quiz.go. Yeah. yeah. You just open it up in a new tab, and it has a uh, new new quiz controller function. And so that's that's what this is. Okay. So it takes in the Goa service and uh, the JDIP to login stuff. Okay. And then once you got that, uh, app is uh, Goa's uh, code. So mount it basically is running the same as uh, handle func. Okay. It, it, HP, it, HP handle funks okay. each of the uh, each of the endpoints. Okay. And so the how's the, if it's a handle func, you've got your so, so function that's going to run. And what's mm -hmm. service? Is service the route? So service, service is a goes go, says, Goa go. service. Okay, so that's service. Just, it's just like generic Goa features okay. that is needed everywhere. So, uh, so it's just kind of it, that's kind of needed everywhere for the okay. uh, like the translation for the input arguments out and, and such. Okay. So so you mount it. So you mount it onto the service. Um, then you mount like the Swagger Swagger controller onto the service and the question controller. So each resource has a controller. Okay. Um, so so the quiz microservice has a quiz resource, a question resource, an answer resource, and a published resource. Okay. And those eventually become different endpoints that get so, spoken to. So each resource has actions, which each okay. action is an endpoint. Ah, uh, okay. Resource action endpoint. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are resources, and they'll have actions. Yep. Which so, become endpoints. So, so yeah, if I go into like the quiz controller, it's got there's the, there's the create action or the delete action. Okay. So 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 you create each controller and mount it. Okay. One, and then once it's mounted, okay. it's when someone calls that endpoint, okay. it's able to get to the get to that actual controller. Then after all that's done, comes uh, HTTP handle. And then some of these are service JWT, service JWT, and this one's just service, so that's not behind a paywall. Yeah, so or this, that's not behind the login. So wall. Swagger, no endpoint in the Swagger resource requires yeah. login, so okay. I don't bot, so I don't bother yeah. getting a JWT. Okay. So you have resources and and then actions, and actions translate to endpoints somewhere. Yeah. This route, that route, and yeah. they'll be normal, RESTful, update, delete, whatever. Yeah. So after all the after you've mounted all the controllers, um, HP uh, uh, Goa uses its own. Um, it's like a fork off Julian Schmidt's router mm -hmm. uh, for the actual stuff. App Engine requires you to use the HP standard library yeah. router. So I just say all a slash is all routes. So I just yeah. say all routes go to service.mux. Yeah. So since all of these have been mounted onto the service, service.mux is the uh, Julian Schmidt uh, variant router. Yeah. So all routes go to the Julian Schmidt variant router, which will then go from there to these specific actions. So a uh, Julian Schmidt variant router? It, it, it's a it's an alternate to Julian Schmidt's router that allows that's a little more. Uh, it allows a couple more things that Julian Schmidt's oh, okay. router doesn't support. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I get it. It's not Julian Schmidt's. It's called Julian Schmidt's it, it, alternate. It, it, well, it, it's it's something else, but it, the guy, whoever did it forked Julian Schmidt's router okay, okay. And, and added more features. And where do we set that router and bring that in? So, so this so this so slash goes to service.mux, So all routes then yeah. go to the the Goa Mux. Okay, and then in Goa then, we set and, that. And then Goa's the Goa's got these mount functions. Okay. Are 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 uh, creating the actual okay. like specific routes right. based off your design. Yeah. Um, so once you got that, you say app engine main, and that's which basically infinite loops until the service ends. Nice. Um, so some microservices have additional functions underneath. Not all of them will. Um, for example, for course, um, I've got these extra functions over in a file called remote.go. Okay. Um, these are just functions to call out to another microservice. Okay. 
So for example, the quiz microservice needs to be able to talk to the course microservice to figure out if someone's enrolled to tell if they're allowed to, make, to take the quiz or not. Okay. So I, so I just have a function that actually does that check. Yeah. Takes the course ID and user ID and, t and gets back an enrollment, which is this struct. So in a like course, it's got so many calls it has to make out to other microservices, yeah. I put them into a separate file called remote.go. Yeah. So, but for like quiz, it's only one function, so I just okay. left it in main. Cool. Um, these are most, are, these are semi-complicated. We'll get into them in another video. Okay. But that's actually enough for just the main.go. Um, so this function is mostly copy-paste with just different controllers. Yeah. Cool. Okay. A lot of this hinges upon knowing Go Goa. Like this one, yeah. Well, the whole site. Yes. Right? You have to know Goa. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like our whole site. Yes. It's like it's built with Goa and yep, that yep. goes to Go. <laughs> yeah. And then So Goa V2. So we we'll get into the uh, actual like controllers endpoints here uh, next. Um, which in Goa 1, they're still very heavily dependent on Goa. Goa V2 kind of made these uh handler functions uh, yeah. a little bit more, uh, a step removed from Goa so you can actually write the actual like implementations of endpoints without actually having to know yeah. Goa which cool. is another benefit to Goa v2 when it comes out nice all right see you in the next one <laughs>